Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on making a video tutorial series on C programming language. In my last video I completed the discussion on a very important topic which is translators and in this video I am going to discuss another topic which is features of C programming language. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you guys got some valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion on the features of C language. So as you can see, I have listed down various features of C programming language. Now one by one, we will try to understand each and every of this feature. Now the first feature is simple. Okay, so C programming language is termed as one of the simplest programming language in the sense that it provides structured approach. Yes, C programming language is been considered as one of the simplest programming language because it provides structured or systematic or an organized way of writing down the programs. So you can write the program in the form of functions, in the form of subroutines or modules which will help you to understand the code, to organize your code and maintain the code in a better way. So that is what the meaning of structured approach where you break the entire problem into smaller parts. Okay, so that's why the C programming language is termed as a simple language. C language also provides very large set of library functions which you can use in your program to enhance the functionality of your program and C also provides a large set of data types which you can use to work with different types of data in your programs. Next feature is machine independent or portable. Unlike assembly language, C programs can be executed on different machines with some machine specific changes. Therefore, C is a machine independent language. Okay. So there are few languages available which are assembly language. Okay, and this assembly language comes under mid-level programming language. I have made a another video on assembly language which is available in the same playlist. If you guys have not seen the video on assembly language then I just recommend you guys to watch that video as well. Let us come to the second feature. So there are few languages which are assembly language and these languages are not portable. These languages are machine dependent. That means once you write the instructions using assembly language in your platform then you hardly port or use the same program in another system which is having some other platform or some other operating system but C language is not like that if you have written any program using C language in one operating system then you can easily execute the same program in another operating system or in another platform as well so that's why C is been termed as machine independent or portable you can easily port the programs written in C language between different platforms or operating system. Now the third point is structured programming language. C is a structured programming language in the sense that we can break the program into parts using functions. Okay, So C is also called a structured. Structured programming is an approach where the programmer writes the entire program in the form of functions or in the form of modules okay so i have made an another video on structured programming language where i have discussed in detail on this topic of structured programming okay so if you guys have not seen that video i just recommend you guys to watch that video as well okay so it is easy to understand and modify yes whenever a program has been written in the form of functions in the form of modules by following structured programming approach then that program obviously will become easy to understand and modify Functions also provide code reusability. Yes, it's one of the most important advantage of writing down the programs using structured approach that you can use or you can take the functions in any of your other project, okay, which increases the reusability of your code. Next feature is rich library. Okay. C provides a lot of inbuilt functions that make the development fast or whenever we will be working on the projects. So, there will be a requirement that we have to complete the project as soon as possible. So in this case, we cannot afford to 
write the same code again and again okay what if there could be some inbuilt functions which we can use to reduce your work to complete our work as soon as possible and c provides that solution as well okay so c has a lot of inbuilt functions which we can use in our program to increase the functionality of our programs okay and those built-in functions are stdio.h that is standard input output header file and then math.h strings.h okay so these are the inbuilt functions which some other developers have developed and we just need to use these libraries or functions in our programs so that we can take the advantage of these libraries in our program now the fifth feature is memory management okay so it supports the feature of dynamic memory allocation in c language we can free the allocated memory at any time by calling the free function dynamic memory allocation is one of the important feature of c programming language which allows the programmer to allocate the memory at runtime okay and with this technique we can release the memory whenever we want we can free the allocated memory at any time by calling the free function okay so if we no longer required any allocated memory then we can easily deallocate that memory using the free function next is speed the compilation and execution time of c language is fast since there are lesser inbuilt functions and hence the lesser overhead okay so as compared to other high level programming languages like java python php c has comparatively less inbuilt functions which makes this c language to compile and execute with a faster pace okay so whatever programs we will be writing down with c programming language those programs will get compiled and executed within less time okay next is pointer c provides the feature of pointers we can directly interact with the memory by using the pointers yes a very important feature of c programming language is pointers with the help of pointers we can access the data with the help of the addresses of memory locations we can use pointers for memory structures functions arrays okay these are the various places where we can make use of pointers yes we can use the pointers in dynamically allocating the memory locations and we will be using the pointers to store the data in the form of structures and uh, calling the functions and storing the data in the form of arrays so there is n number of uses of pointers last one is extensible c language is extensible because it can easily adopt new features so c language is capable enough to adopt the new changes okay suppose tomorrow your requirement gets updated and now you need to change the already existing code with the new requirements then you will not find any difficulty to adopt those new changes in your old programs which you had written using c language okay so these are some of the features of c language Okay, so i hope you guys have understood so in this video we have tried to discuss eight features of c programming language so i hope you guys have understood and that's all for this video guys i will see you guys in my next video where i will be coming up with other concept on c programming language so if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching